Aloha, it's Katie, and if you're a student watching this in college, high school, or middle school, you could probably relate to these two things. Number one, you probably have a lot of work to do and you're procrastinating like I am because it's 1.30 a.m. and I still have to finish my math homework, my CS homework, and number two, you're looking for a way to get fit quick because you know that school and academics takes up a lot of your time, but you still wanna look and feel good. So lucky for you, like the lazy person I am, I found ways where you can easily stay fit. Before we start this video, I also wanna make a disclaimer that this video is sponsored by Victoria's Secret Pink. <gasps> what? Honestly, when they asked me, I just didn't believe it. This is the first sponsored video I've done in a year. <laughs> I think Victoria's Secret Pink is actually a brand that I did not grow up with because I grew up outside the US but I've always heard about Victoria's Secret Pink and like wow I want to be like them but admittedly for a long time I never thought that I was good enough to wear Victoria's Secret Pink so when they reached out to me I was just very touched and in awe that firstly they knew of my existence but also I learned that Victoria's Secret Pink is a line that's specifically for college girls and the mission is to empower girls to feel and look good. There's a psychology study that shows that what you wear affects how you view yourself and your mood. And I used to just wear like hand-me-downs for my siblings and that's totally cool too because sustainability. But at the same time, when I guess I started treating myself or wearing clothes that were meant for an occasion. For example, I would start wearing like workout tights or sports hoodies to actually go to the gym instead of like, a t-shirt that I also sleep in. I noticed that it did wonders for my attitude and I'm all about being confident in what you do. And I just hope that this is a lesson that you keep in mind in the future for whatever you do, just to dress the part because it will make you so much more motivated. And I have felt that when I've been going to the gym in Victoria's Secret Pink or when I've been using their lounge to just treat myself after a long day of college. It's very versatile and functional. Like I've gotten a lot of compliments for my leggings actually for my friends because some of them are supposed to make like your back really flattering. Don't even get me started on how amazing the bras are. Now I don't normally talk about like innerwear or lingerie because I'm pretty conservative on my channel but let me just tell you that it's the first time I ever tried Victoria's Secret Pink bras and I just felt like boss whatever. Also they have really solid college accessories like backpacks which have so many zippers. This one especially is a campus backpack made for college students. The only thing is I admittedly don't use cheetah print. I'm gonna shut up now but if you want to check out any of these products or their line I will link it down below. I highly encourage you check it out and of course to keep it real thank you for this opportunity to be recognized by brands that i never thought i would work with but here i am so thank you for your support and let us now get into how to stay fit and lose weight while you're in college last year i tried to stay fit i really did i would gym before class at 8 a.m 9 a.m but still like freshman 15 happened but what people don't say enough that has been like a biggest game changer for me is are you ready it's sleep when you don't sleep enough you're gonna feel more cravings your body needs more energy because you lacked it by not getting enough sleep that night and at the same time your body decreases another hormone called leptin and it is a satisfaction hormone so number one you will crave more junk food more fatty foods because those give you quick energy and at the same time you're not going to be satisfied by those foods so you're just going to keep binge eating why does this matter it matters because you've heard it prevention can be better than the cure people try to lose weight by burning fat burning the food or calories that they just ate but what if you stopped yourself from even getting to that point where you had to burn the fat? You just stop so you don't have to work out after to burn it off. And when I made that realization, it just changed my life because as college students, we thrive on caffeine, energy drinks, and all these other sources for energy when we have the best natural source and that is sleep. Consumer culture just tries to sell you a lot of products so you can buy and add to your lifestyle. But what we are missing is the fact that sometimes subtracting things helps us get to our goal. It's about how you can do more with less. And I just want to apply that philosophy to gymming because let's face it, as college students, we don't always have the time or motivation or energy to get up and go to the gym. So I would highly recommend you read the book Why We Sleep. I've been reading that and it's made sleep a real priority in my life. Because yeah, admittedly last year I could exercise all I wanted, but let's face it, at the end of the day, I was still binge eating my chips, working so hard to burn it the next day, but like for what? It was an ongoing cycle that I would never win if I did not get enough sleep. Next thing I will talk about is eating because there are really three essential things to staying healthy and fit, I feel. Number one, sleep. Number two, eating. Number three, exercise. We'll talk about that later because I know we don't like the 
word exercise. So I don't do any diets. I very much want to be able to enjoy pleasures of food because I'm a huge foodie. One thing I did change about my eating habits is when I eat, I intermittent fast. So intermittent fasting is when you eat within an eight hour period and not eat anything for the remaining 16 hours. The idea is that if you restrict your food eating times to an eight hour period, your body is going to improve its metabolism because it sinks in with your eating routine and knows that it's got to digest food much faster within that eight hour period. It also helps you lose weight and burn calories a lot more productively. So my eating period is 12 to 8 p.m. And what happens is when I'm approaching the end of my fast at around 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. the next day, my body has not eaten in a while. And what your body does is it will normally resort to burning carbs first for the quick energy. But when you don't have as much carbs, your body needs to look for an alternative source for energy and that is fat. So when you exercise towards the end of your 16 hour period, you end up targeting your fat exactly and burning that. I was reading an article on CNN Health and people who would exercise before they ate breakfast could burn up to 20% more fat. By doing that now the thing with intermittent fasting is word of caution it is not for everybody some people cannot restrict their diets to an eight hour period in general whatever you try or hear or read online know that your body may be different from the general public and so if you're not feeling well if you're feeling dizzy don't continue it your body is different and only you will understand your body best Another thing is I know 16 to 8 hour ratio is pretty difficult to maintain and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect on it. If you still follow this fasting period five, six days out of seven days in a week, you will still reap so much more advantages compared to if you just didn't follow it every day. So in a way, like you can store up your brownie points for six days by following the fast and then on the last day, you have leeway to I don't know, treat yourself a bit because you've been doing great for the previous rest of the week. If you're thinking of trying this, I would ease into it slowly. So when I was struggling to cut it down to the eight hour period, I would expand it to like nine or 10 hours first. And I think for girls, you can do 14 to 10 or 15 to nine. It's harder in the morning to battle, but I just drink a lot of water and try to suppress like the hunger because I realize it's not really hunger. I mean, you have to be the judge of that, but if my stomach is rumbling a lot, then I will just eat. I'm not gonna like wait it out nine more minutes because it's still 11.51 and it's not 12 yet, you know? It's about listening to your body and responding to it. Another thing that girls specifically don't realize is lifting weights sometimes burns more than cardio does. I know we grow up with the narrative that, oh yeah, you should just go on the treadmill, you should run. You know, we just grow up with the mindset that we gotta do cardio, we gotta sweat it out so we can burn all that fat. But what you don't realize is lifting weights also burns a lot of fat and here's why. When you lift weights, you increase your lean muscle mass. There are two key ways to burn calories and that's through muscle and fat. So burning calories through muscles can actually be more effective because your muscles are more metabolically active compared to fat. The more lean muscle mass you have, the more calories you are burning at rest. And this is why you'll notice that guys can eat so much more than girls and not get as fat. It's because they have so much more muscle. Like physically, we, girls cannot have as much muscle as other guys do. Also, after you work out with lifting weights, it increases your metabolism in the short run. For example, instead of 60 calories, you're burning 70 after you do a workout. Things to keep in mind though is typically you should lift weights after you've eaten. For me, I try to do my cardio and my fat burning before I eat. If I'm trying to gain muscle, I will do it after I eat so I have more energy and won't like collapse or faint. You gotta eat a lot of protein to repair your muscles. Just always be drinking water. And remember, it's good to push yourself so that you grow, but do not overextend yourself because that's when you might get injured. You might create long-term negative health benefits. I hope you guys found it helpful because these were such game changers to me. And ever since I've been feeling so much healthier, I feel like I maintain my body much better by following this. And again, I just feel so much more confident and happy with myself. And I hope that when you start this journey, you will too. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and I'm only a DM away on Instagram at AlohaKDX. If you have any questions, my, all my social medias are linked down below. And I pin one of your comments every video, so please leave me a comment. Turn my notification bell on because the earlier you are, the better. I will see you in less than a week with another new video. Best of luck with school, everything. You are going to flourish and thrive. Bye guys.